Hello and welcome to the user's tutorial for Riskier's Spider device. In this video we will show you the capabilities of Spider and how to use it by presenting how to build a simple setup to glitch an embedded target. Spider is Riskier's next generation tool for side channel analysis and fault injection. Its revolutionary design can help you interact with any complex embedded target. It has a single control point with all the input, output, and reset lines for any custom interface. Spider consists of two finite state machines, which respond to internal timers and counters, and 32 external signals. It has six different analog voltage outputs, two serial communication channels, and it can offer up to two glitches simultaneously. It can drive faults to glitch amplifiers, electromagnetic probes, or even lasers. Now we will build a simple setup to glitch the power line of an embedded target, which will be Riskior's Pinata board. This is Pinata, a physically modified and programmed board to operate as a training target. To communicate with it, we'll need to connect it to the computer with an FTDI cable. It is connected to three pins in the JTAG connector of Pinata, the transmit, the receiver, and the ground pins. Let's start by connecting the spider to Pinata. To be able to communicate easily with any embedded target, we insert the breakout board to the GPIO port. In that way, the input-output signals will be wired to the FPGA chip directly for maximum performance. Connect the voltage out one port of Spider to the reset pin of Pinata. Then, connect the GPIO Core 1 Pin 0 of Spider to the trigger pin of Pinata. In this setup, we will use the glitch amplifier, which is designed to amplify the glitches during a fault injection in cases where the embedded devices require more power to be glitched. So, connect the Glitch Out 1 port of Spider to the Glitch Amplifier using an SMB to SMB cable. Do not forget to use the 50 ohm adapter. If a glitch output is to drive a glitch amplifier, don't forget to use the 50 ohm output adapter impedance to compensate the amplification. Then, connect the output of the glitch amplifier to the power line of the pinata.
Now you can connect Spider to your computer using a USB cable. We will use Inspector to program the type of perturbation and the form of the glitches. Lastly, the power supply of both of your devices. Both Spider and Glitch Amplifier use power supply units of 15 volts. Good luck with your setup!